Hi everyone, Jade's Bansel here bringing you yet another video. That's right, I am still here in Milwaukee as of this video. Who knows where the hell I'll be when it comes out. Anyways, <laughs> I am going to be styling a wig for you today. Now, I am very, very lucky that a subscriber submitted a wig and I actually should do a little backstory or actually let's go back in the past and revisit a special moment from a wig video. <gasps> We're going in the past. <laughs> Just once, I'd like for someone, my, one of my subscribers to send me like a beautiful, soft, human hair wig, full, so many tracks, <laughs> with a roller set already in it. Oh, that would be a dream. I'd love that. Wow, what a memory. Now I'm gonna read a little letter they sent to me via email. They were kind enough to send me a human hair wig. Two of them. Oh my gosh, I am in love. <laughs> Now this wig was sent to me by Robert Nyhan. Let me show you, it came in this lovely gold box. Yes! <laughs> and they sent me two human hair wigs. Oh my gosh, here's the first one. It is luxurious, long and brown. <laughs> and here's the one we'll be using today. A full human hair wig, a full lace wig. Now check this out, you guys, oh my gosh. This is her, and that's the lace going all around the head. Like, I have never used a full lace wig because, well, I'm cheap, and I don't like to invest in myself. So, <laughs> I never thought that would fit my head, but I tried it on, it actually does fit my head. So, I'm excited to use this today. Oh my God, but that's the inside of the cap, girl. All hand tied onto the cap. That is fabulous. All right, we set her to the side because they did submit a letter, and I want to read it out of courtesy. It says, Hi James, I sent you these two full lace wigs because I felt a disturbance in the force. Oh, Star Wars reference. We're off to a good start already. Almost as if someone needed two real human hair wigs that are great quality. I may not be able to support you financially due to my health and being on unemployment, but I hope these wigs are more than good enough for you to make something great out of. I love you and your channel. Been a follower for a while now. I wish you have the best during the move and cannot wait until you move to Vegas. And I hope the move goes smoothly. I know you'll take good care of these wigs and cannot wait to see what you do with them. Best wishes, Robert Nyhan. Oh my goodness, thank you. Yes, they're both full, they're both full lace wigs, are they? What? No way, did I not look? They are. Oh, I'm dumb. I didn't notice that, that is true. They're, Full lace, good lord. Do you see what manifestation can do? <laughs> I manifested these two wigs not even two weeks ago. I think I have special powers, honestly. Thank you, Robert, oh my gosh. Now I believe Robert provided some information here. Let me just make sure I have it right here. Now I'm gonna put Robert's socials right here. Yes, 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 that's Robert's socials. Check them out. Lovely, lovely wigs, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, honey. And Robert is also starting a YouTube channel, so be sure and pop over there and show a subscribe and like their content when they upload. Yeah, subscribe. New friends, new friends. These are fantastic. I love, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This is some beautiful hair. Now, I want to try this wig on. I feel like I should before I transform it, so I'm going to pop this on my head and I'll be <laughs> right back. All right, I am back. Um, Excuse me, have you ever met a woman? Oh my gosh. This is fun. I've never used a full lace wig before, so this is gonna be interesting. Now, I just pull these down. It's kind of like it's kind of like laying weirdly over my earring, but you get the idea. Like this is cute. I can actually pull the hair up and do something with this, which is giving me ideas. Oh my goodness, yes! I can't wait to try this out and see what I can turn it into. Oh my gosh, it actually fits my head really well, and the ventilating also covers my sideburns. Yes. Fabulous. All right, now I'm gonna pop this off my head and start styling it. I'll be <laughs> right back. I'm back. All righty, now the hair is all pinned down to the head. Now I'm gonna do a curl set to it quickly. Just a standard, you know, 1950s roller set. I'm probably not gonna be doing like a Marilyn Monroe-y kind of hairstyle because I feel like I do that quite often. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a, like finger waves to it, but try and do like a showgirls updo. Yes, yes, yes. Like those ones you used to see in the 1960s with like the going up and they're fabulous. Ugh. The like swirly bits on the side. We're gonna try and do that, but I need a curl in it. So I'm gonna steam curl this. Now I could use curling iron and stuff like that, but it's brand new, you guys, oh my gosh. And Robert told me that this wig hadn't had heat tools used to it, just, you know, steam. So I have a nice blank canvas to work with. And it's that gorgeous factory toned blonde, you know, before you hit it with a toner. 
I'm not gonna be doing that because I actually like this yellowish kind of blonde on me, as you already know. I feel like, ugh. I feel like it complements my skin a lot better than that white blonde does. Now I'm excited. Now I remember I used to always Google these images of those fabulous showgirls with their amazing makeup, like gigantic, you know, creases and like eyeliner going out to like their sideburns. Insane the level of like work they put into their faces because you know, it was 1950s and 60s. So you had to be seen from afar, basically like drag makeup. So cute. And like I said before in my other video, when it came to like old school hairstyles like that, like showgirls, it kind of borrowed the same kind of, you know, aesthetic as those 1950s sex symbols James. did. What? <laughs> this is gonna be funny, but you have lipstick right under your chin. I do? Yeah. Oh Lord. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. I have like a soul patch. Yeah, like, Why didn't you guys tell me? Oh, my God, look at that. Look like I cut my lip shaving. Oh, well, I'll be right back. Ugh, I'm annoyed. <laughs> Whew, okay, I am back after that whole fiasco. And yes, I curled and dried the wig off camera. Get over it. All right, now I'm gonna start taking it down. Fabulous. Ah. Lovely, okay. Just what I wanted. I wanted to have a nice little curl to it so that we can do an updo. Yes, yes, yes. Gorgeous. I love curls so much, you guys. You don't even know. Every time I see these nice little ringlet curls, I just get thrown into like those 1950s Marilyn Monroe, like when she was in that Showgirls movie, <laughs> Chorus Girls. Oh, look that one up, oh my God. She got like this before she went to 20th Century Fox and she had like her work done. She has like this beautiful like shoulder length hair and like an eye like an ashy blonde, not platinum blonde yet. And it was before they really discovered like her face. So she kind of looks like Marilyn, like this the semblance is there. She just, you know, she hadn't exploded yet. Now if this were the 90s, I'd be a supermodel right here. Like that's it. <laughs> Give us the ringlets and we're good. Now I'm gonna run a brush quickly through it. Oh, look at her. She is Veronica Lake. God damn it. Okay, well, let me not fuss around too much with the curls. We have to start styling it. So what I'm gonna do now is flip her around so I got the back. And I'm gonna start working my way up. I wanna go for like showgirl meets like Brigitte Bardot. Like a little nice updo. We're gonna do a little bit of a French twist as well. It's exciting, oh my God, you guys. I never worked with full lace wigs before, oh my God. <laughs> so like, I'm a little intrigued with like, how the application process is gonna happen. I may need Ernie to help me glue it on. I'm pretty sure I will need Ernie to help me glue it on, not gonna lie there. That will probably be the case. And you're saying, James, you really aren't adding a whole lot of teasing to this like you normally do. Because I really like it, oh my God. I wanna be able to salvage the hair and like take this hairstyle down and wear it down. like. 1950s finger waves. Speaking of, have you seen that new Billie Eilish Vogue cover, girl? Well, it's probably not new by the time this comes out. Who knows, this might come up first, who knows? Either way, she just did a Vogue cover for like, I believe English Vogue, and she has like, you know, skin tight outfit on and bleach blonde hair. Very like, um, serving like Marilyn Monroe in, you know, the Misfits, that kind of style, with the little swoop bang and everything. Really cute, actually. She looked great, no, she looks Fabulous. And I'm excited to see what look she pulls out, especially if she's doing bleach blonde hair because I don't know if you guys know this, I specialize in bleach blonde hair. So look out for that Billie Eilish wig. I'm certain I'm gonna have to recreate that one now. Just like when Miley Cyrus changed her hairstyle. Oh my God. Moments. All right, now I'm working my way to the front. Working my way to the front, teasing hair, trying not to put a lot of teasing into this because I want to wear it later. Whew, all right, we are almost done. Just working my way to the front and we're already there now. This is actually really quick, oh my gosh. What I'm gonna start doing now is gathering up the back of the head so that we can do the updo, yes. Brushing over it with a smoothie brush and getting a nice grip on this. Get where I tell you to go, okay. And I'm trying to like gather it near the top of the head, like the crown, because I want to create volume up there because we're gonna do like a cloud of curls. But we want it to be like a nice, slick back, you know, showgirl kind of hairstyle. 
almost like channeling elements of Bridget Bardot. Ooh, I love that. It's coming down like that. That's cute. Okay, get a little Bob Bobby pin. Obviously, I'm using black today because you know I want you to see it. So romantic, so pretty. I look like a girl from like a Jean-Luc Godard movie. Bridget Bardot in Contempt. Oh, she's gorgeous in that. She's got the thick eyeliner. All right, now for the sides here, I kind of want like spit curls going like that for my ears. That's gonna be pretty. So I'll leave those out. Gorgeous. I haven't done an updo in so long. Like I can't be the only ones obsessed with like those old showgirl images of the girls just like leaned over in the mirror with these gigantic wigs on. Oh, the 60s were wild. And those burlesque girls and showgirls, they were tough looking and probably super, super tough, you know, in real life, to be honest with you. Like Tura Satana from Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, she was a burlesque dancer and girl was she tough. She knew karate. She had an all girl like street gang when she's living in a Japanese internment camp here in the States growing up. Girl, tough as nails that one. What a fascinating story. I'm gonna pull a section of hair out for a bang just in case I wanna use it. But right now we're gonna focus on the, the decoration of the hair. Declaration of hair. <laughs> and Brigitte's were usually like a little messier. And it depends, like, you know, Showgirls always had really, really structured hair. Hers is more like messy and thrown up. So I'm gonna try and do like a, a mixture of both. All right, I am back. Now, I forgot to mention that Robert actually sent me a couple of hair extensions that are just to go with this blonde wig in case I want to use them. So, here's one of them. They are fabulous. Apparently, it's a human hair synthetic blend. So, I'm going to find the smallest one and use that sort of like as stuffing wefting. So, and just add a tease to it so we can have a little more volume in the hair. Use it as a hair piece. Good old hair extensions. And what I'm gonna do is lift up that ponytail that I divided, wrap around to create a little bit more flounce. You could do this with a donut, but those are not out right now. <laughs> Everything is packed, okay? Doing my best with what I got. Now I have my little bit that I have here. I add a little bit of teasing into it. Smooth it and look at the curl and rest it along it and decorate the hairstyle. And so keep doing that around the head in small bits and basically just adorn the hair. It's like that, playing around with the curls, letting them lay crazy ways. Whatever looks stylish, go with that. Ooh, that's pretty. I love that. Okay. I'm gonna keep doing this around the head and I'll be right back and we'll figure out this thing. <laughs> all right, I am back. Now I just played around with the curls and pinned it all down to the head like so. A nice pretty little updo like that. Ah, oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, now these bangs need to get figured out so that I can finish the hairstyle. So, I don't want to cut them because I want to keep the length so I can take it down. So what I'm gonna do here is basically play around and make like a faux bang. I'm gonna play with the hair here and keep, you know, that natural curvature. I'm gonna tuck some hair under here and let it go right here so that I can add that to the updo. A little pin, ah! Yes, hell yeah, there we are. Curls. One last thing before I take this off and start cutting it, I am going to play with these, these little spit curls. Get it nice and wet. That way she spit curls up like that. Oh, oh gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm in love. And that looks pretty good. I actually don't need to cut anything. I love that. I love when things work out for me. Okay. And mind you, I haven't put this on my head yet, so who knows what she'll look like and how many adjustments I'll make, but this is pretty much this final look. Now, just to decorate a little bit to make it more showgirly. I don't recommend doing this. Well, you can if you want to. I'm taking some floral pins that still have the nice pretty side of the pin on it. And I'm gonna stick them in like that to create a little dress up for it. Now, this is definitely a photo shoot kind of thing. I don't recommend performing with this unless, you know, you're trying to like do like self-defense. All right, I'm gonna keep adding these in and I'm gonna try the hair on and I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back! This is the final result! Oh my god! I always want to do like a showgirl updo like this and I finally have the means to do so. This is cute! Now I did not secure down the bag because 
we're on YouTube, folks, okay? I'm not about that natural look, all right? <laughs> Who am I fooling? <laughs> Plus, I need to fade the back of my hairline look here, so we're working on it, all right? Anyways, this is fantastic. I love this. Now, I think I found a new obsession, full lace wigs, girl. They are the moment. I have to say thank you so much, Robert Nyhan. This is Robert's information again. Check that girl out. Yes, yes, yes. This wig is sickening, mama. Yes, I love it. It is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. Jane's Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ah, now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at BlackPhoenixAlchemyLab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag. Thankfully, I have Manscaped. Use my code JAMESM for 20% off your purchase plus free shipping. That's right, James M. Now, thank you, thank you, thank you again to Robert. This is fabulous. I really appreciate you sending me this hair. And you guys, I can't believe it. Manifestation works, okay? I am living proof. I'm the living proof. Yes, I thought about human hair wigs and suddenly, poof. I have them, yes. Oh my gosh, $100,000, $100,000. I can feel it coming to me right now. Yes, yes, yes. I will have $100,000 soon enough, just you watch. All right, now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. Click here and watch this incredible title or this amazing video that I created. I'm making these out of order, so I don't know exactly what videos are going here, but I'm sure they're great. So click them. If you don't click it, I'll trap you in a painting. So click it.